for displaying some things about chaos. You see, it's, um, it's a pendulum. And hanging from the pendulum is another pendulum. And these pendulums can go through full circles. And so that spins. But uh, I'm going to hook it to the table. And so here we have one of the pendulums. But it becomes interesting when the two pendulums go together. But one kind of behavior here is steady state. And here is a periodic motion where the two pendulums are swinging in different directions. <coughs> here are the two pendulums swinging in the same direction, like clocks. But what becomes interesting is when you give it a big push, and you see that uh, this will have some chaotic behavior, chaotic looking behavior. And so it keeps on doing different kinds of behaviors and uh, <coughs> small changes in how you start up huge changes in the pattern of reversals of directions. Every now and then the pendulum will come almost to us, the balloon will come almost to a stop and then fall back or go forwards. And the basic aspect of this about chaos is the unpredictability of the behavior. So now it has, oh, you can't even tell whether it, when it has finished swinging. But it's not stable, guys. Is it, I mean, for a long time, it, it will be like fixed point or steady state or something? In the long run. So in yeah. fact, this is not chaotic because it eventually it runs out of energy. Mm -hmm. But you can imagine if you had very little friction, you would have a rather irregular pattern of behaviors. So the point is that this is a very simple device, much simpler than any aspect of your life, in fact. And yet it has an irregular, unpredictable component. And it helps uh, us understand similar behaviors in our own lives, shall we say, how our much more complicated lives. So I don't know if I may ask that this unpredictability, where is coming from? What's the source of this kind of strange thing? I don't think we need to know where it's coming from. <laughs> where is predictability coming from? Predictability is something. Unpredictability okay, so is nothing. Okay. So the, the, the general thing is the unpredictability, but yeah. And it's the point being that, you see, small changes, when this comes up to some place and then falls back, exactly how far up it comes will have a big influence on what it does afterwards. Mm -hmm. So very small change at this point has a big influence on the swinging pattern in the, uh, in the future. So small effects get multiplied. Mm -hmm. And you can explain this motion mathematically by symbol. You can't. Well, you cannot write down a closed form solution. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the general equation, it's not the solution itself. You can write down the equation. Mm -hmm. No problem. Could, could you write it, please? No. No? <laughs> Why is that? Because uh, it's a four dimensional system, it's got two. Mm -hmm got two angles and two angular velocities mm -hmm. and getting the equation just right is rather hard. <laughs> okay. So it's a very simple thing but mathematically is um, it's quite hard well, to explain. It's, it's, yeah. So that's the double pendulum. So Professor Eric, thank you so much. That was a video for Iraq translation project. 
uh, you allowed us to translate this video and publish it to uh, yes. the audience. Yes. Thank you.